Ей, баба, ще ми направиш ли супа топчета? Доста ми се е дояла. Не ми кой ще направи, бе, килеш? Ми, не знам. Аз знам. Идвай тук. Ти ще я правиш. Пред мен. Пред мен ще я правиш. А, не, не. Той път не ми се готви, моля ти се. Идвай, казах. Веднага. То на мен всъщност вече не ми се еде супа. Така и така не ям супата. Ям само топчетата. Hi comrades, welcome to the new video. Today we are making soup again. We Slavs love soups and we have a ton of varieties. Today we are preparing the favorite soup of all Slav children. Meatball soup. I am not really sure why children enjoy this soup despite the universal fact that all the children do not eat any soup. Maybe it is because they eat only the meatballs out of the soup and that's it. I can confirm that, as I was a small Slav boy with beard and ushanka, I ate only this kind of soup. And yes, I ate only the meatballs out of it. And till today, it is maybe my favorite soup and every time I prepare it, I enjoy eating it very, very much. At one point of my childhood, I remember that I wanted to eat only this soup and nothing else, so my parents and my babushka always had some of this soup prepared for me. It is not some complicated or fancy soup, but I assure you that the taste is great and you enjoy it. It has a ton of vegetables and the best thing is that you can experiment with it. Today we will be using as vegetables mainly carrot, some peppers and potatoes of course, but I remember that my babushka used whatever vegetables were available, like peas, green beans and even corn sometimes. So yeah, you can basically put whatever vegetable you have or whatever vegetable you like. The other important part of the soup is the meat. Typically we use pork meat, minced pork meat with at least 20% of fat in it. But you can go with beef too, actually it will become very tasty. Also if you're extra lazy to shape small meatballs as you will see, uh, you can just make them huge like big chunks of meat or just spoon them and add some different shapes. No one says that they should be like bowl shaped. Basically, no need of both in this soup. I'll stop speaking nonsense at this point as you may have the desire to learn how to prepare it. Let's go to see how to prepare it so you can become a level 15 Slav soup master. We are starting with the products. You need a Slav vitamin blend for good health. Four or five potatoes, two green peppers, also known as green dead, celery stems, which are known as more green dead, two orange pointers and a huge holy cry apple. Soup noodles or any noodles you want. Zalts, 400 grams of deconstructed pork. Tasty things as pepper and some more savory. Grains for the bowls more green deads, as celery leaves and parsley leaves and vinegar fruit. After that you enter the secret codes for the Slavic sequence for making meatball soup. Make your pointy sticks naked with a potato peeler. If they are clean enough you can skip the step or you can bathe them in water. Clean your green pepper from the seeds as seeds belong to birds only or to farmers. Peel the potatoes as their skin is tasty only when baked or fried. Trust me, in soup it is not very good. I know that from a friend. Butcher the cry apple, since it is one of the most badass vegetables around. Expect fierce resistance, almost as fierce as the Stalingrad resistance against the Nazis. You receive extra points if you manage to keep your fingers whole. Change angles for extra fanciness and for keeping your mind busy so you won't click away from the video. Meanwhile, cut as many things as possible into piece size of your choosing. I love to have all shapes and sizes because I am not a shapist. Change angles occasionally. Shoot with your Chinese pie phone so people from China can learn how to cook meatball soup 
life on their spy monitors. Also, it helps if you want to use it as a mirror instead looking directly at where and what you are cutting. We should have our veggies sliced. My collection consists of smaller chunks of onion and celery stems, medium chunks of potato and big chunks of carrot and pepper. Don't worry, they all will be cooked evenly as they'll be sauteed and after that they'll learn how to swim in boiling water. Heat some sunflower oil in your middle aged pot. Throw in your veggies except the potatoes, they're grounded. They will be added at a later stage because they misbehave. Add the lid on so the veggies can get cooked. The stove should be on medium. Meanwhile, take your mince and drop half of the summer savory you have available in it. Also, add some pepper and salt. Mix with your hand, don't be afraid of the meat. Add in some rice, around 30 or 40 grams, no more than that are needed. Actually, you can even skip the rice if you want, but I'm used to having it in. Mix again with your hand. If it mixes hard, add some water from a capitalist Star Wars cup. With that, the meatball mix should be ready. At that point, we have added the potatoes. They are not grounded anymore. Stir the veggies. Some font may be present on the bottom. No worries, this is expected. We add some water. You can adjust the water amount based on how thick you want your soup to be. If it's very thick, you can always add more water. Also, if you have a big slav family, just add more water to feed more people with less and to save money for knockoff Adidas apparel. Meanwhile, turn your speed on high and start rolling, rolling, rolling meatballs. Then keep rolling, rolling, rolling more meatballs. If you're extra lazy, make them big as I did. By the way, this process takes time, so make sure you do not have other work to do. After you're over with the bowls, try the veggies, they should be ready. Use potato as a sample, as it cooks for the most time. If it's ready, everything should be ready. Add your meatballs, they will learn how to be the best swimmers in the soup. I was extra careful for no particular reason and added them one by one, but you can just throw them into mortar, leave them to boil until the rice is cooked. Meanwhile, cut some parsley into whatever chunks you want. The meatballs should be closed ready when they start swimming on the top. I told you, they are good at swimming. When the meatballs are cooked, add in the noodles. They'll need 4 or 5 minutes in the boiling water at max. Have a taste test and add salt if it is needed. Bonus slabness. Bonus round. Sorry guys, today no bonus round for this soup. You can, you can add the same addition of egg and lemon as in the chicken soup on the channel. But as we are not having a bonus round, now I, will, now I will sing you a meatball song. Tonight I want to make a meatball to you in the soupness. There's so much I want to spoon and tonight I want to meet poet at your feet Cause soup I was made for you And soup you were made for me After this uh, singing songs masterclass Let's go to the stuff difficulty level I would say 4 out of 5 you would say This is a soup, are you mad? But let's not forget that we made meatball mix made a ton of meatballs. We've cut a ton of vitamins and spent half of the day on the stove. So yes, it is a tough thing to do at least for me, but it's totally worth it. Our soup is ready. Take your ladle and pour generously two or three times in a bowl. Make sure to catch some meatballs, at least five or six should be okay. Sprinkle with parsley and add some lemon for best taste. Energy, well, sorry, haven't calculated it, but a big bowl of this soup can totally replace a meal. It is quite nutritious with the pork mince, the rice and the noodles. But hey, it is healthy after all. Good amount of vitamins and protein. Good for slav health. As final words, I can say that this is the favorite soup of all slav children. Again, I'm not sure why. It is perfect as a comfort food in the cold days or just when you want something tasty, filling and nutritious. 
If you love soups, I guarantee that you love this one. By the way, you can replace the pork mince with beef, it works perfectly fine. Also, you can skip the rice and the noodles if they are not to your likings. I hope you like this Slavic soupness and if so, make sure to subscribe for more. Love you next time.